Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Linux on a flash drive. Now, I know I've already made a video like this, but that video is very old, and it was actually one of the first videos I ever posted on my channel. Um, today, I'm just going to be showing you a uh, newer version of that video, and instead of focusing on the pen drive Linux distro that I talked about in the first video, I'm going to be focusing on a more well-known distro and is also the distro that I use as my uh, main operating system Ubuntu now to install Ubuntu on a flash drive you're gonna need um, Ubuntu 810 or later and if you're running Ubuntu as your main OS as I am you're just gonna go up to system administration USB startup disk creator type in your administrative password Okay, and it's gonna open the program. Now, what else? The other thing you're gonna have to do. What else you're gonna have to do? <laughs> the other thing you're gonna have to do is, um, um, put in your um Ubuntu disk, your um, either the one you burn or the one the CD you requested or whatever. Just uh, put it in your drive, and it'll pick it up right here. If you don't have the disk and you just have the ISO, you can use that too, and you just have to hit other and find the ISO or whatever. Um, you're gonna need a flash drive that's at least that has at least two gig two two gigabytes of space. Um, and right now my uh flash drive already has uh, Ubuntu on it. I've already installed it on here, so it's saying it's full right now. But I have a two gig drive, and Ubuntu 904 fits perfectly fine on there. So what you're gonna do is you after you select your uh, disk and your um flash drive you want to install it to you're just gonna um drag this to show how much extra memory that you want uh, files documents and stuff like that to be stored I usually just take up the rest of the drive with that but uh, if you don't want anything else but Ubuntu to be on it and you don't want it to save any configuration or changes that you make say if you just want this to be a, a startup disk so you can uh, work on other operating system you can just discard on shutdown and it'll just delete all the changes you make on shutdown and we'll start with a uh, the fresh copy each time you reboot the computer after that you're just going to click make startup disk and then it'll go through the process of uh, making the master boot record on the uh, drive and uh, installing Ubuntu onto it if you're using Windows you're going to have to do this slightly differently um, what you're going to have to do first is open up your uh, favorite web browser and go to www.ubuntu.com and click download right here should be one of the first things you see um, select the Ubuntu 9.04 version because I do believe the 8.04 version does not include the um, USB disk creator and then you're going to select the location and select your bit version if you're if you're using a 64-bit processor, you can use a 64-bit version, but um, it'd be it'd be a little better to use a 32-bit version because if you're going to be using this on a lot of different computers, not every computer is going to be 32-bit. But 64-bit can run the 32-bit version, I'm pretty sure. So it's just best to go with 32-bit, even if you have a 64-bit processor in your computer. And after that, you're just going to be begin download, and it's going to take two to four hours it's a fairly large uh, ISO image it's about 700 megabytes so um, I suggest you uh, download it every night or something while you're sleeping so that way you're not just waiting on it and slowing down the uh, net and all that stuff unless you have a really fast network connection like um, fiber optics god I wish I had fiber optics but anyway after that after it downloads it's going to be an ISO image on your desktop and to uh, what you're going to do with that is just burn that to a uh, blank CDR with any program that supports burning ISO images if you don't have a program that supports burning ISO images I suggest you use magic ISO I do believe the name of it was I haven't used it in a while because I haven't used Windows in a while so yeah just uh, search for that if you need that program and you're going to burn it to the disk and then you're going to put that disk into your disk drive and boot from it. If you don't have to boot from it, uh, search booting from CD on Google. And it'll, you'll probably find a couple of guys to tell you how to do it. It's not really that complicated anyway. 
and you just boot from the disk and then once you're inside the live disk you're just going to go to system administration and USB disk creator and follow the instructions I gave to the Ubuntu users earlier so that's pretty much it and it, since it's already installed on my flash drive I'm going to um, go ahead and switch over to my uh, flash drive um, version of Ubuntu or installation of Ubuntu and um, show you some stuff inside of it Okay, if you follow all the steps and um, you got your flash drive um, all loaded up with the uh, Ubuntu version you wanted um, to run it, all you're going to have to do is pop it inside of your computer's USB port down here, and then you're just going to have to restart your computer. When your computer gets done restarting, you're just going to enter the um, BIOS settings by pressing whatever key the BIOS indicates. Mine is F2 to enter setup. And then you're just going to have to change the drive configuration to boot from disk. I'm sorry for all the flashing on screen. Um, I'm having to use my old CRT monitor. and It's not easy to record a CRT monitor. <laughs> anyway, and you're just going to have to change it to boot from USB first. Um, my system has already been set up to boot from um, the hard uh, flash drive first anyway so here we are it's booted into the flash drive right now and what it's doing is giving me an option to which language I want to pick you're just going to uh, click English and just uh, go ahead and hit try Ubuntu without any change to your computer and give it a second and it will continue to start the operating system There it goes. And there it is uh, starting up straight off the flash drive. Really pretty fast, especially on newer systems. Wow, that was loud. Alright, well here we are inside of um, Ubuntu on the computer. I'm going to go ahead and um, switch over to uh, screen recording software now because the, um, as you can tell, it's kind of horrible and it's going to be hard for you to watch what I'm doing inside of this. Alright, um, once you get inside your desktop from your USB drive, it's going to look exactly like this. And even though it says it's live, you can still save configuration changes and apply themes and save files and open files and everything just like a normal system. And the first thing I recommend you do is if your system display is kind of funky at the, at first, which is probably going to be, um, you um, change the resolution. And if that still doesn't fix it quite right, um, go down here to hardware drivers and um, install the uh, driver for your restricted driver for your um, system which should iron everything out and see I had to install the uh, NVIDIA accelerated graphics driver version 173 and after I installed that everything pretty much straightened out and my display looks completely normal now just like on my other system now inside of this you can change anything you can apply themes change icons um you can um, use Compass Fusion to a certain extent because you'll be using this on a lot of different computers sometimes um, Compass Fusion might not work on certain computers but um, I use my flash drive like this for um, school because at school all we have is Windows computers and I don't really like using Windows computers that much so I just pop this baby in and do whatever I have to do research whatever and um um, Compass Fusion works perfectly fine on those computers so usually I have all my 3D effects running and everything and um, with the cube and everything and all the people sitting next to me will be like whoa how would you do that what is that you know they'll be asking questions and stuff and it's really cool and usually I um, pass out copies of Ubuntu so they can install it and use it on their systems too 
Well, that's all for this video tutorial. Um, questions, comments, subscriptions, all that are always welcome. And I need more subscribers, if you would please. So yeah, tell people about my videos. Spread the word. I'm on Twitter. So I do believe my uh, Twitter um, username is CFHS underscore one. I haven't used Twitter in about a month, so I'm not sure. But I'm about to start using it again. So. I'll clarify in my uh, description later on. So, yeah, uh, ask me questions, uh, comment, give me comments, um, anything you like to see. Give me suggestions for videos or questions you might have about Ubuntu or Windows or anything like that. Windows 7, maybe. I mean, I've installed Windows 7 on my computer not too long ago, and it's. I had a few hiccups in the beginning, but I must say, Windows pretty much got it right with Windows 7 compared to the horrible mistake they made with Vista. So, yep, I guess I'll. Talk to you guys next.